One time a secondary school girl told me, I left my boy in a bucket. It haunts me. I always remember that I saw my boy in a bucket. And another one, every time she goes to the toilet, because when she aborted, she threw her child in the toilet. She would say, when I go to the toilet, I hear my baby saying, Mommy, don't susu on me. Mommy, don't poop on me. So what looks to many as relieving themselves of unwanted pregnancies has turned into a chain of permanent depression which has sent many women to mental hospitals. So in the end, she became mentally ill and many people suffer nightmares, they just have outbursts of cry, they get depression. We don't think about this, we just think she was pregnant, she's no longer pregnant. 20 to 40 percent of the victims have developed severe depression. Dr. Nabachua, who equally serves as a coordinator for pro-life movement in the Kampala Archdiocese, insists she cannot buy the idea of passing the abortion law because to her this is more of child sacrifice. It's very similar to child sacrifice. I think we've had stories of people who sacrifice their children so that they may be better and in the end they may get the money, you may get the degree, but you're tormented by the fact that you killed your own child. The Catholic Church, which is currently giving rehabilitation to these tormented mothers, argues it is unethical for gynecologists to justify abortion in the name of saving a life. The child has an equal right to life in front of God. Abortion is one of the worst sins that a Christian can commit. And actually, according to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, it is a sin that excommunicates one from the church. The Archbishop of Kampala, Dr. Cyprian Chizito Luanga, started the pro-life movement to help rehabilitate the victims to the misdirected abortion and instill hope to the broken-hearted. The Catholic-founded service, which started in 2008, is free of charge. According to the 2015 Standards and Guidelines for Reducing Maternal Mobility and Mortality Report, about 800 abortions happen in Uganda every day, translating into 300,000 abortions annually, about 1,200 of which die from unsafe abortions. The same report shows there are 850,000 women who get unwanted pregnancies annually, which forces many to carry out unsafe abortions. I am Fatou Manalwanga for Urban TV.